Jaguar has updated its hugely popular F-Pace SUV with a range of new features as well as a plug-in hybrid option for the first time. Before we get stuck into the main details, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next video. Jaguar's F-Pace has been around for some time now, so it was due a slight facelift and update to the interior. To go along with this, Jaguar has also added new powertrain options with mild hybrid and plug-in hybrid tech available for the first time. It might not be fully electric and you have the Jaguar I-Pace for that, but adding a plug-in hybrid to the range offers the option of zero emissions driving without compromising on power. And for those who are worried about range or perhaps do a lot of miles every single day and they do want a premium SUV, then an F-Pace plug-in hybrid might be a great option. The F-Pace P400e combines a 2.0-litre four-cylinder turbo petrol engine with a 17.1kWh battery. As with other powertrain options, it is an 8-speed automatic with all-wheel drive. That means impressive performance with a 0-60mph time of 5 seconds and a claimed fuel economy of up to 130.2 miles per gallon. It's unlikely those figures will be achieved in reality, but use the F-Pace in pure electric mode regularly and you'll find those trips to the petrol stations become ever more rare. In fact, the 17.1 kilowatt hour battery enables an electric range of 33 miles, plenty for the average UK daily commute of 18.8 miles according to Jaguar, and that also helps keep CO2 emissions down from 49 grams per kilometer. Charging the F-Pace P400e is a fairly simple and quick affair. A standard 7.4 kilowatt home charge point will charge the battery from 0 to 80% in under 2 hours. And if you want to have a look at home chargers, then make sure you visit smarthomecharge.co.uk where we help you compare different car chargers for your home and also we can offer you a free quote on your home installation. Interestingly, the F-Pace also includes rapid charging up to 32 kilowatts, which isn't exactly rapid compared to most full electric vehicles, but the small battery means you get an 80% recharge in just 30 minutes when using a public rapid charge point. Overall, the entire Jaguar F-Pace range has seen exterior and interior changes, a new bonnet and grille design give it a much cleaner look, while there are also redesigned air intakes and dark mesh grilles which result in a wider stance and assured dynamic presence, according to Jaguar. Basically, it looks more aggressive from the front. There are also new super slim LED headlights and a smart double J daytime running light design. The forward-facing camera, fitted as standard, detects oncoming traffic and will automatically switch between high and low beam. The rear also gets a redesign including Jaguar's double chicane graphic which was first used on the Jaguar I-Pace. Speaking of the I-Pace, in the interior there's more than a whiff of the all-electric SUV here. The new center console and dash has a similar sweeping layout to the I-Pace, while the new PIVI Pro infotainment system benefits from a crisp 11.4-inch curved glass touchscreen. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available as standard too. There's a lot of neat details in here, including the drive selector, which Jaguar says features cricket ball stitching. Handy if you like that sort of thing as well as increased levels of comfort and in-car entertainment, passenger health is also taken care of thanks to the PM2.5 air filtration system, which removes allergens and uh, unpleasant odors. It was me! The Jaguar F-Pace plug-in hybrid starts from a little over £56,000 for the entry-level S edition, or you can upgrade to the R-Dynamic HSE model for just under £65,000, while there are obviously a number of options in between. The Jaguar F-Pace plug-in hybrid is available to order right now. So, what do you think to the Jaguar F-Pace getting a plug-in hybrid option for the first time? Do you think it's a compromise and they should just go full electric wherever they can? Or is it a good additional option? Let us know down in the comments below. And in the meantime, give this video a like and a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.